Hello everyone, welcome back to landscaping. Today we received our first snowfall of the season. It's around 5 to 6 inches of light fluffy snow. Today we will be heading out for the first time plowing with our 2017 Chevy Duramax. We have the Boss DXT stainless steel V plow and we have a Boss Salter on the back. Let's get this Duramax warmed up here now before we leave our house we'll be clearing our driveway. And as I was clearing all of the snow off of the windows and the truck, the neighbor came out and said we could use his John Deere 332. This is one pretty sweet small tractor here. Let's give it a try. Now it does have a small snow blow around a 46 inch and a 3-4 passes and we should be good to go here at our house. I'm really excited to be doing the snow season here. So many epic snow clown videos to come. And if you guys do want the full mods list, it is up on my website. Let's get going here on giving this a try here. Now, I've never really tried this out before, uh, so this is going to be our first time. Now today we will be doing mainly our residential driveways. Our crew is out there already uh, getting going as well, which is awesome. We'll get this ready to go here. Oh yeah, we're already shooting the snow, which is pretty sweet here. We'll keep going. Lots of snow moving it already. Wow, uh, this thing is pretty cool. Now this does also have some pretty neat animations, which is pretty sweet. Now one thing I have noticed, we do have to go somewhat slow as well as we are kind of clearing. Let's get going here with a snowblower. Now we do have to go pretty slow here. We can't go too, too fast. Around six inches uh, for a small snowblower is a lot here. But would you look at that, guys? Doing a pretty good job. And I'm just really excited that we have snow once again here in Farm Sim. Now I do have lots of videos planned. So many plow truck ideas. Uh, different types of plowing videos. Hopefully we could do some multiplayer. Uh, maybe even with some other Farm Sim YouTubers. But you guys can see we're shooting the snow pretty far here. And one thing about the snowblower or we could get right up and close to our garage door there. Now, if you guys do want the full mods list here for today's video, it is up on my website. I am working pretty hard on adding new and more features to the website. This old John Deere is doing a pretty good job here. I'd probably estimate this is almost a 20-year-old tractor. It's so cool we have nice neighbors. Uh, we usually help them out, maybe mow the lawn for them when they're out of town. And they'll let us use some of their fun toys here. But another pass or two. We got to get this opened up here. The wife has to get out. We got to drop the kids off at school because school's still on. It was just a delayed opening by a few hours. Now let me know down below in the comments guys if you have received any snow so far. I actually did receive some snow and it melted a few days later so more than likely we'll be out clearing all day long and then a day or two later it's going to all be uh, nice and clean and melted off the driveway and the grass. Let's get the John Deere turned off here, and that's it. We got the driveway all cleared out here. We'll leave that there for the neighbor to come get it. And let's hop here in the Duramax. It's been warming up here. Now, I do have the heat on already, which is pretty awesome. And I will be adding a light bar up top. But until then, we'll just use our hazard lights. Now with this truck we do actually have our interior camera view and we have a GoPro up top here. Uh, this is one pretty sweet camera view here that we could also move around as well uh, which is pretty awesome. This is our first time getting to use the plows really uh, going to be kind of uh, learning the ropes once again. Usually you're rusty the first few uh, pushes of the year. Now I'm really excited about the snowfall season. Snow plowing has always been a lot of fun. It's been awesome uh, to watch lots of farm sim videos on snow plowing, but also just real life uh, snow plowing videos as well is pretty awesome here. But this camera view is definitely going to be a top one of my favorites for today. It's so sweet and it is a pretty realistic one. It's just a suction cup to the top and crank it in four wheel drive here for a second. Looks like we kind of drove up on a little bit of a snowbank area. And there we go, a little bit of four-wheel drive, wheel spinning, and we're doing it. And I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day here so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been so far pretty good. And if you guys haven't already, I do ask that you please hit the like button. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithms. And that's pretty much it here for this first one. I think we'll probably do almost a dozen driveways today in today's episode. We just have a lot we have to get done. 
Now one thing about snow plowing, you really want all of your driveways kind of right next door to each other. That way you get as much snow plowing done and you could also charge the mows. And that is something I do try to do even with our lawns. And look at that guys, we're already plowing snow. Now our truck, this the uh, boss man truck if you guys want to call it, is our only truck in the fleet uh, that actually has a uh, V plow on and all the other trucks have a straight blade and the boss gets uh, the best plow here but these are pretty expensive almost I would say a quarter more than what the regular uh, straight blades are but also there's more uh, reasons uh, to kind of just use a straight blade especially when more things could break now with snow plowing, the goal is always to get everything cleared out here, doing one pretty good job here. First time pushing, we do actually have to learn exactly where we do need to push all the snow. But one thing we don't want to do is pile it up right in front of that. And it is tricky, we're trying to scoop it right now. Now I do plan to do some snow plowing on the Xbox One, so hope you guys are excited for that as well. I think that will be a pretty sweet thing. Getting to use the TLX, I got a lot of comments requesting me to do that, and yes, we will be doing it. Wow, you guys can see making some pretty big snow piles already, pushing tons of snow. And this uh, truck, this Duramax, this 2017, is uh, one of my favorite trucks. We'll be using this a lot coming up here in so many cool videos. It's just one of my favorite trucks. So let's see if we get some of these smaller uh, wind roads done here but the stainless steel V plow looks so sweet I was just going to get the regular uh, red one that's a little bit cheaper even but I thought this would be the way to go guys can see doing a pretty good job here and that is it which is awesome now our next driveway is actually going to be a pretty big one and it's up the road just a little bit for the next drive we will be pushing, I actually did come out here, put plow markers down because it's so hard to actually see where exactly it is and we are coming up here on it. Now we have done a lot of work here for this customer and now we do have them as well for the uh, snow season which is awesome and this driveway really does need the V plow action. Really uh, pretty hard uh, to push so much snow here, it's a very long stretch as well and we do have to kind of get going here. We do need a little bit of momentum if we don't have it. I'm not sure how we are doing, but you guys can see, look at this, guys. We are pushing a ton of snow here, and we're doing a pretty good job here. Now, sometimes it is tricky uh, to kind of even see these plow markers here, but it's just added realism. I do want to be as realistic as possible and have a great time. And look at this, guys. This truck here is doing a fantastic job, really working her. And that is something, even though this is a work truck, it is meant uh, to be uh, put to work, not just a kind of a grocery getter. And so far, we've been doing it. We did a pretty good job there, although we were probably a little too close on uh, one side or another. But on the way out, we will kind of see if we clean it up. Now, if you guys do have any cool perspective ideas here for me, please let me know. I definitely want to do some multiplayer, maybe kind of uh, set up a GoPro on a tripod and do. But I also do like this camera view here. This is a pretty neat one. Losing a little bit of traction, but really nothing uh, to worry about. In this one, we do actually have a lot of pushing to do here. And let's see, we might uh, up and over the snow bank and just keep backing right up and over. We have to widen this area just a little bit more here for us. But I think diesels, especially 2500 and up, is the way to go for plowing. You really don't want to be using an F-150, 1500. That just does not have enough power for uh, pushing all the snow. Now I will try to do maybe a snow plowing video every week, every other week probably is uh, going to be it here. I do want to do a lot of these. We have so much snow coming this year already, uh, the weatherman has predicted. And that is awesome. The more snow we have, the more money we'll be making, and the more time we get to play out uh, with the trucks. Let's see if we can kind of get this part cleared here. But this has been so far a pretty tricky one for us, and we did do a pretty good job. A little bit of momentum there, and yeah, just keep on pushing it. Now, if you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at Square2448. I am posting some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates over there, and some exclusive uh, pictures that aren't on YouTube or even on my website. So, really do recommend you do uh, go check that out there. And I think we are done here. We might come back out maybe a little bit later on for some snow drifts, but we cleared it. Oh yeah, they will be able to get some trucks in here to get to work here, but we do have to push back a little bit more of this road as we head on out here and now this was on the edge of town as well but I don't think we'll have a problem Let's see we need it just a little bit wider and uh, we should do it as we're heading out 
those plow markers really do come in handy. I do know that a lot of people, even uh, at their regular houses, do put them out, which is great. Probably put in a little bit of extra wear and tear, especially with this dark gravel mixture on the plow. But once again, guys, we just have to put it to work here. Those are minor things that we could always adjust here. But wow, pretty bumpy on the way out today. And we're just going to stack some pile here. Really don't want to be pushing it across the roadway. But there we have it, guys. One of the biggest residential that we do is now complete. And uh, the Duramax seems to be just keep on going here. But wow, that looks so awesome. Did a pretty good job there. That V-plow really uh, shows its strengths with being able to push right through six uh, plus inches of snow uh, without having it cleared at all. Now, first-person view snow plowing is, I think, one of the trickiest things I could really uh, kind of do for you guys here. It's just kind of really hard to kind of see what's happening. And we do have this house here that we have to do this pretty big driveway. And we do want to push a little bit further past. But if we don't kind of push it too far now, uh, when it's time and we have all this snow, we'll have no place to put it. And we'll definitely do some videos, though, pushing back the piles. Hopefully we don't have any cars coming in. I don't think uh, much people will be out on the road today. I do know that school's in session, but uh, many people I think will probably just be working from home. And we might need to do some four-wheel drive action. Just uh, really interesting. I would like the snow to be a bit more realistic, I will have to say. It is tricky, though. And let's see, maybe a clean scrape here uh, will do it. Perfect. And a little bit more momentum does it as well. Now I have been out plowing in plow trucks and it is a pretty fun thing to do and uh, that would be uh, something to uh, do again here but I'm not sure if that would be possible this snow plowing season. Another pass or two here and wow just look at that guys we are just pushing it no problem. Uh, this 3500 is getting worked pretty hard now with snow plowing. I really don't recommend putting it on a brand new truck here. The, it puts so much wear and tear on the suspension, the transmission, all of those uh, joints in the axles up front, uh, suspension, and just overall a lot of wear and tear here. That's why you guys see it being put on the work trucks, and we are working the trucks pretty hard. Now, if you guys haven't already, I do ask that you please subscribe. We are growing, growing faster and faster, and we are getting closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers, which I am pretty excited for. I can't wait for when we reach it. Let's see if we do a few driveways in here. I do, I think I have almost six houses in here. All of the ones we mow for, we did pick up. Now, this snow season, we do have a lot of clients, and we do have a lot of equipment that will be put to work to get everything cleared out. But let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite part of the winter months? I will have to say, although sometimes you don't want the snow, I always want to get snow here. It's always fun, and I definitely will be doing some snow blowing videos as well. I think those would be a lot of fun for you guys. Pushing a lot of snow here, making some pretty big piles. And uh, wow, we'll, we might have to kind of come back out here again. But there we go, that one's done. And I think the next one is actually this one to our right. And it does look like the plow, uh, the town plows came by here. Kind of knocked down a few mailboxes. That's not the best, but uh, we got to get it cleared. And let's see what we could do here. It's kind of hard to kind of get these big trucks kind of rotated into the driveways like we are doing here. But And it looks like we are pretty much just going to be pushing that there. Let's see. And I do have the joystick working for part of the plow, and then the other part I do have to use the mouse here. So that is always tricky as well, uh, getting all the controls figured out. But I will be doing a lot of uh, kind of solo as well to really help out and kind of get back into the routine of working these plows. And that's pretty good here. I think we'll head back towards our neighborhood. We'll do another one. And then I think I'll stop and grab a bite to eat here. Didn't really get too much breakfast. I was so excited uh, to get out here and get to plow. But so far, it's been a great one here. And I hope that we do make a lot of money this uh, time around. And just have a great time doing it as well here. So I think to end today, why don't we do our neighbors across the street here. And then uh, we'll uh, kind of stop there and take a break.
like I did touch upon, guys, if you do have any cool ideas here for what we should use for equipment, uh, for camera views or anything like that, let me know down below. But this is such a cool one as well, just putting the camera up above here like this and really showing kind of the plow in full motion. Now the goal is always not to kind of stack the snow right up against the garage doors, uh, but in farm sim it is just a little tricky and I'm not sure if the scoop on this V plow uh, does function as if it should here in real life, but there we go, we pushed all that snow really. Yeah, that's probably just the best we're going to get here. Yeah, that isn't uh, the best, but uh, that's just going to have to do here for us. Let's get this truck backed around here and let's see yeah we'll get it back to our driveway right here and we'll just run inside here to grab a bite to eat get the plow dropped here but hope you guys enjoyed today's snow plowing video back with the landscaping company i can't wait for what's to come here now it is only the start of november and we got six inches of snow here hopefully we get a few huge blizzards and uh, uh other uh, snowfalls as well but hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more